Thank you. We're right now on Good Day Orlando. You're going to want to turn your eyes to the sky overnight tonight. You'll be able to witness history. It will be the longest partial lunar eclipse in nearly 600 years. That means you're going to miss the next one, so you got to watch this one. Planetarium Director of Seminole County, Seminole State College of Florida is Derek Demeter, and he's joining us this morning live. Hi, Derek. How are you? Good to see you. I'm doing great. How are you today? Very good. Thanks. I know you're excited about witnessing this tonight. Of course, we're praying for no cloud cover, but you have those giant telescopes over there, so you kind of have an advantage. Well, unfortunately, cloud filters haven't been invented yet, so we <laughs> are also in uh, a problem, but... Um, Interestingly, I've actually been planning, uh, looking in the entire state of Florida uh, for a place to drive to to see this eclipse. And uh, right now it, it doesn't look good, but no. there could be, we call them sucker holes. Basically there are holes in the sky that where maybe it clears up just in the right time for the eclipse to happen. I'm hoping for that. Right, otherwise you're gonna have to catch a last minute flight somewhere maybe, and that, that might be a little problematic, right? <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, we, we need to invent those teleporters, you know. I mean, yes. Somewhere I can just transport myself to a whole other. Um, but the really cool thing there, uh, NASA is doing a live stream. Uh, other uh, places around the uh, country are doing live streams. So if, you, if it is cloudy, there is the chance of still watching it online. Um, so that's definitely the uh, thing I'll be doing if, uh, if it is cloudy. Okay, so let's talk about why this is so rare, Derek. What makes this so special? Um, well, I mean, a lunar eclipse is uh, something that doesn't happen every day um, or every other week. It's something that happens uh, usually once a year, twice or once every two years. Uh, and this eclipse is going to be very, very long. As, as I mentioned earlier, this is the longest eclipse in, uh, you know, a very, in over a century. So, uh, you know, it's going to start around uh, here on Eastern Standard Time. It's going to start around you know, uh, one o'clock in the morning and then go on almost all the way to 6 a.m. Uh, but the best time to really view this eclipse is between the hours of four, uh, 3.30 to about 4.30 in the morning. So it's gonna be an early call, but uh, I always say set your alarm till around 3.30, go outside, look up. That's when the maximum extent of the eclipse is gonna occur. That's when the Earth, uh, the moon's gonna go mostly in Earth, the Earth's shadow, and that's what's going to create that eclipse. Really cool. Well, the nice thing about working on early morning show is that we'll be awake, so we will be watching it, and hopefully no cloud cover. We're going to talk to the meteorologists about that. Derek Demeter, always great to talk to you. Thanks so much for taking the time to be with us. My pleasure, and let's keep our fingers crossed yes, for tonight. Absolutely. I'll look